Good day, everyone. Do you know how to keep your respiratory and circulatory systems healthy? Let's find out how. Learning competency. The learner should be able to infer how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning of respiratory and circulatory systems. Objectives. 1. Explain the negative effects of cigarette smoking. 2. Infer how to detect and prevent diseases of the respiratory system and circulatory system. Infer how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning of respiratory and circulatory systems. 3. Conduct an information dissemination activity on effective ways of taking care of the respiratory and circulatory systems based on data gathered from the school or local health workers. Let's understand that a stick of cigarette contains compounds such as butane, a component of lighter fluid, cadmium, a component of batteries, stearic acid, a component of candle wax, hexamine, a component of barbecue lighter, toluene, a component of industrial solvent, nicotine, a component of insecticide, ammonia, a component of toilet cleaner, methanol, a component of rocket fuel, carbon monoxide, arsenic, a component of poison, methane, a component of sewer gas, and acetic acid, a component of vinegar. Smoking can damage every part of the body by the diseases we can get from it, such as cancers of head or neck, lung, leukemia, stomach, kidney, pancreas, colon, bladder, and cervix cancer. Likewise, we can get chronic diseases such as stroke, blindness, gum infection, aortic rupture, heart disease, pneumonia, hardening of the arteries, chronic lung disease and asthma, reduced fertility, and hip fracture. As a matter of fact, when you buy a pack of cigarettes, you can read the label, Cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. Now, do you like still to smoke? Decide, life or death, the decision is yours. How do you know that you have a respiratory problem? Warning signs include chronic cough. Chronic cough is a cough of 8 weeks or longer. Another one is shortness of breath. Chronic mucus production. If your mucus production lasts for a month of longer or longer, it is already a warning sign. Wheezing. A noisy breathing. And it is a sign that something is blocking your lungs airways. Coughing up blood. Another one is chronic chest pain. Pain. So unexplained chest pain that lasts for one month or more and it gets worse when you breathe in or cough is already a warning sign. So if you experience any of the signs, visit your doctor immediately. How do you detect a respiratory problem? Lung or pulmonary function test, chest x-ray, CT scan, arterial blood gas analysis, laboratory tests, and use of stethoscopes. How do you know that you have a circulatory problem? You have a circulatory problem if you suffer any of the following. Numbness and tingling of legs or arms, chest and back pain, swollen veins and arteries, aches or leg pain. Another one is hypertension or high blood pressure. Next, atherosclerosis, also known as hardening of the arteries occurs when plaque builds up on the walls of your arteries and eventually blocks blood flow. And plaque is made of cholesterol, fat, and calcium. Another one is heart attack. It occurs when not enough blood reaches your heart due to artery blockage. And lastly, we have strokes. Strokes occur when a blood clot blocks an artery in the brain and reduces blood supply. How do you prevent respiratory and circulatory diseases? Sneeze into your elbow 
and not into your hands. Because you hold things like doorknobs with your hands, thus transferring the virus to others who might touch what you touch. So always wash your hands with water and soap. If not available, use alcohol or sanitizing gels. Another one is vaccination for your immunity. And visit your doctor regularly. Another way of preventing respiratory and circulatory diseases is to have a healthy lifestyle. How? Avoid or quit smoking. Exercise. Balanced diet. Enough sleep. Avoid sharing of personal items. Observe social distancing to people with respiratory symptoms. And drink plenty of water. So for the Let's Apply part now of your module, Determine which symptoms presented below are considered to be taken into consideration when you have problems of your respiratory and circulatory systems. Write RS in your answer sheets for respiratory system and CS if circulatory system. Number one, numbness or coldness of legs or arms. Two, feeling you cannot get enough air. Three, chest and back pain. Four, coughing with blood. Five, mucus problem. Let's analyze part of your module. Study the pictures below and answer the questions given. Number one, why is smoking dangerous to your health? Number two, how do these Filipino dishes affect our circulatory system? For the let's try part of your module, Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your answer sheets. Number one. When you exercise, your heart beats faster. This is good because A. It will signal your body that you work harder. B. It quickly spreads oxygen throughout your body. C. It will make you tense and excited. D. It will inflate your lungs. Number two. Smoking and blank are risk factors for heart disease. A. High cholesterol B. High sugar C. High amount of creatinine and D. Lack of sleep Number 3. Which of this is the essential first step to a healthier lifestyle? A. Eating healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables B. Exercising regularly to the point of exhaustion C. Making a decision of not eating street foods D. None of the above Number 4. How will you prevent diseases of the respiratory or circulatory system? A. Maintain proper hygiene B. Getting regular health checkup C. Get enough sleep or D. All of the above Number 5. To have a healthy mood every day, one must have at least blank of sleep. A. 4 hours B. 5 to 6 hours C. 8 to 10 hours D. 12 hours For the Let's Create part of your module, make a poster as information dissemination on how to take good care of your respiratory and circulatory systems. You may use the following materials such as long band paper, crayons, color pens, oil pastel, and marking pen. Data should be coming from your local health worker. You may search it using your smartphone or PC or any gadget you have at home. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And for more information, you may visit these references.